Hi, I'm David Carnoy, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm here with the Sony Reader PRS T2. This model came out a few months ago. It is an incremental upgrade over the T1, which came out in 2011. Sony hasn't made any major changes to its e-reader, but it has made some design tweaks, and most of them are for the better. Uh, this model does come in black, red, or white. Uh, the black model is the one we have here that we reviewed. One of the things I will say about it is that because it has this kind of rubberized, textured finish, it does attract fingerprints. Um, I assume that it's not as bad with the white model, um, but like a lot of other darker e-readers, this one will show fingerprints. Um, aside from that, I really did like its design. It's a very lightweight e-reader. Um, it's also thin and fits you in your hand well. Unlike the Kindle Paperwhite, uh, this does have physical buttons on it. Some people like those buttons. One little complaint is that the page forward and back buttons are on the left side. So if you're a right-handed person, you may not like that those buttons are on the left side. This model comes with two gigabytes of built-in memory. That's kind of the standard these days for e-readers. It does, however, have a slot for adding more memory. It's a micro SD card slot. Aside from that, uh, this is a good performing e-reader. Uh, Sony has made the contrast a little better on this model. The performance is a little better, both in terms of faster page turns as well as improved battery life. This one now gets about two months of battery life with Wi-Fi off. And this is really it in terms of Sony's e-reader line. The T2 is the 2012 model for Sony. In terms of other new features, those are really more software-based. Sony has improved the interface. It's also improved its store and it's added some social media features as well as an Evernote connection. All in all, this is a perfectly good e-reader. Uh, the text looks good on it, the performance is good, and as I said, the design, it's very lightweight, um, but the one thing it has going against it is that the competition has that integrated light in it, and both the Kindle and Nook cost $10 less than this, so this is a little bit hard to recommend unless you, of course, are already in the Sony e-reading ecosystem um, and you want a new device. If you are, this is a nice incremental upgrade. I'm David Carnoy and that's the Sony Reader PRS T2. Thanks for watching.